Hey, 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 Aries. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your weekend reading from August 7th to the 9th. This is for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody. Of course, it can't. But hopefully you guys can get something out of it today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Aries, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your needs and your questions. Info's in the description box below. I'm going to get a channeled message here. And first, though, I'm going to get some cards. But I'm going to get a channeled message for you from Spirit in just one moment. What's going on for my Aries? We have death. We have the Ace of Wands. We have the Page of Pentacles. And we have the Magician. At the bottom of the deck, Aries, we have the Ten of Swords. All right, so let's get this message from Spirit and see what they have for you today, Aries. Meditate? Okay. Lengthen. Lengthen the time that you're meditating. just by a couple of minutes they're wanting you to stay in that zone for a little bit longer okay what they're saying is you guys that are meditating out there it's it's taking you a couple of minutes hell it takes me a couple minutes to you know rid your mind right and sort of get into that flow within meditation so they're wanting you to sort of take those extra minutes that are on the front end and add them to the back end of the time that you meditate. If you meditate for 10 minutes and it takes you four minutes to sort of get in that zone, they're wanting you to add that four minutes on the end because there's a connection there. It's like they're saying so close, so close. So it's like you're, you're it's almost like giving up before the miracle, right? So keep going, keep going. Just that, that little extra bit, that's all you're gonna need. And you're gonna find a difference. You're gonna find that you're tapping into something deeper. Okay, thank you. Okay, so I do feel, Aries, that you're letting go of something, which is great because the Lion's Gate is coming up on August 8th, 8-8, eight, eight, and it's a great time to let go, right? Let's see what's going on here. What's going on? Ah, okay. That, those extra minutes that you're going to put into meditating is going to aid you in manifestation. So you're going to pay attention to the messages that you get during meditation. They're saying write them down. Whatever it is that you're letting go of, I'm feeling it does have to do with the love situation. And it's like you're transforming this, right? So what I'm feeling here is once you let this go, there's new love that's coming in. And also, you're going to, uh, your, mm, your mind is going to open up. That's what I'm feeling. Like there's an expansion of your mind. So ideas are going to start flowing in. It's like you're going to clear up so much extra space that all this shit is going to start happening to you. And it's going to happen at once. Tell me about the magician card for Aries. Nope, too many. Tell me about the magician card. I'm using the Kipper deck here. Occupation. Yep. Like I said, there's something that you want to manifest. And this is going to aid you in it. And it has something to do with a passion of yours or career, 
right? Either you have your own business, what, maybe some of you want your own business, or if you do have a business, this is like an expansion of it. Tell me about this message. Tell me about this message. Huh. Marriage. This is all going to lead you in manifestation of marriage. And look at this. It's number three, which is the number of manis manifesting. So whatever occupation that you do, okay, it's like doing double duty here, this message coming in. You may be meeting somebody at your work, meeting somebody through work, but it's through this occupation. Whatever it is that you're doing and expanding on, that this marriage is going to come. Tell me about this death card. Thief. Ooh. Yeah. Well, you're transforming, right? We had the um, Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck here, and that is betrayal, lying, stealing, right? Stabbing in the back. And I feel um, it's interesting because and Taurus is like they had this fear and this is something that they need to transform and that's what you're doing and that's why this is all opening up because you're not looking sideways at anybody <laughs> anymore as far as love is concerned we also have change and you're doing this because you want to change. You want your love life to change. You want everything in your life to ch change and transform into something greater. The Ace of Wands is clarified by the imprisonment. So you're setting yourself free. It's like that Eight of Swords energy. You're setting yourself free in order to open up to, to new love. One more on the Ace of Wands, please. Okay, two more. Main female and false person. You've got that same vibe as Taurus, yet you're transforming it. This false person and thief. I feel that previously, um, for those of you who are single and have been dating, you've been very suspicious of the people that are coming into your life. So you've been going round and round and round in your mind about somebody or whoever it is coming into your life, whether it's warranted or not, you're like, oh no, they're, they're wearing a mask. They're, there's something hidden there. I have to find it. But this is what you're transforming. And this is allowing, because you're setting yourself free, it's allowing this new passion and new, this new surge of passion to, to begin to rush through you. And that is caught, it, causing some sort of like tidal wave of emotion and this emotion is what's helping to manifest this okay so that's awesome Aries should talk to Taurus on this because that's what they need to do okay let's get some advice what advice do you have for Aries Six of Swords, yep. Move on to more peaceful place. And Knight of Pentacles. No need to rush this spirit is saying. You see how this Six of Swords, this is somebody who's moving on from tumultuous waters to more peaceful place, right? But they're not rushing. It's a freaking rowboat, right? They're taking their time. So spirit saying, you don't need to rush. You're doing a good job at this transformation. So don't even worry about how fast you're going because change is coming. Change is here, they're saying. What else? Yeah. Four of Wands, stability. Keep holding this emotional mm, contact sort of in mind with this Four of Wands. This is also Twin Flame Energy. You could be manifesting a twin. It doesn't have to be. Before is all about stability, home, family, and marriage. And you've got marriage twice here. You've got the marriage card, and you've got the marriage card. Right? Interesting. Three, four. 
So you are manifesting marriage. That's why they're saying take your time. You want to do this right, right? You want to be clear. You want to clear your energy on a whole. Yep. Healing. The bottom of the deck. Temperance. Sagittarius energy. You could have it in your chart. But embracing change, which you are. I love this for you, Aries. I love this. So keep it up. Keep transforming this energy. Okay? Because great things are happening, man. Okay. All right, Aries. I hope this helped. Please drop a like below. Share and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your needs and your questions. Info's down in the description box below. Don't forget to like, share, and comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much. Have a great weekend, Aries, and I'll talk to you next time. Namaste.